and you played, you expect to play just one half? I mean, it was it was all about the team. The team went out there. We did a good job uh, up front all the way, and uh, running backs did well, and the receivers did well. So I mean, we performed well in one half to get the job done. A bunch of guys helped make it easy for you this first start. Oh, most definitely. The line was with me 100%, telling me each time we got in the huddle, let's go, and uh, starting receivers. Everything was good. It was just comfortable out there. Okay. What's that part on the first drive where you had that fourth and nine, and you completed a pass, and then it got called back, and then you completed it again? I mean, did that kind of get you going? I mean, it, it yeah, seemed no, like those were pretty clutch. Yeah, in a way, just, I mean, the first one just said, I mean, you know, showed me I could do it, just relax, you know what I'm saying, go do it again once they call, They said they called a timeout. So I just went out there, caught a different play, and it worked the same. How much did you call that after that first pass that Jamie Allen kind of saved on you? Uh, it was a lot. I think that was good. It was a, it was a little high, so I mean, it was good. That was the first single completion and get that out the way early, and uh, I think that helped me out throughout the game. Hey, Damian did. Uh, Damian did good. I mean, he's a true freshman going out there. He did a good job getting us in the plays in and out of the huddle. No, he did well. Did they tell you at halftime that you were not going to play the second half? Yeah, they did. I know it was it was all Corn State and everything, but how important was it for the offense just to have? Some success, just do some things right after that Oklahoma State game. It was very important. Though. We just got a rhythm. We got in a rhythm. Uh, we were comfortable. Like I said, everybody did a good, uh, good job. Everybody did their one eleventh out there, and uh, it was just good to get in that rhythm and uh, get going as offense and score some points. Let's we'll talk about your true freshmen, you know, Fred Rawls, Duranya, Ashton. Now they don't look like true freshmen as much as other kids. They don't. What are the, What are they doing so well? I mean, that's from the get-go, from coming in, from conditioning and camp. They just, those guys have been going hard nonstop. Uh, and so when they got out here in the game, they just had a chance for it to all pay off. And uh, that's just something they do uh, each day, uh, day in and day out. And it's just time for them to be rewarded. Was it good to have just totally just those passing yards, 12 and 19, 174? Just, I know you say you're a passing quarterback, but some people think you're a running quarterback just to kind of put those numbers up and show you can do it. I mean, I guess, I mean, some everybody's going, you know what I'm saying? There's going to be somebody that doesn't like something you do. So, I mean, I don't really pay attention when somebody says I can't throw or I'm not fast enough. I mean, there's always going to be something. So, I mean, it's good to have, like you said, it's good to have those stats. They'll get them down. Your touchdown run, was that a called player at Jeff? Oh, no, it was a called player. It was just a, it was a read, and uh, it just worked out that way. Dak, there was a point where you were, you were up 14 nothing, and you had a couple of solid drives and a couple of three and out. And Coach Malone got in your ear and got in the offensive line's ear. And just, what was going on there? Did you, did you feel like there was a low had to be at that point? Uh, definitely. Those first two drives, you know, defense gave us good field position and in a way they were, I mean, they weren't that difficult to convert on. So uh, when we started getting long field position, we kind of got in a little slump there. But we just, you know, everybody calmed down to do what we can do and uh, we got back on the track. That fourth down, the first one, when they, uh, what's the reaction when it's called back and how do you respond from that? I mean, it's just they're trying to get us, you know what I'm saying? They said they caught a timeout, so we just. Went ahead, caught a different play, and it worked out just as well. How important was that? Because if you don't get that, obviously it's a, it's a punt or a turnover on downs, and you don't score that first that first goal. Oh uh, yeah, that was big. It was big to the game. I mean, it's the first possession. You want to get in there and get uh, get some points on the board. And I mean, yeah, if we had been stopped, that would have been different. That play looked like Malcolm made a great adjustment for the ball too, because he had to almost have to stop and come back and get it. There was a two man coverage. Uh, they're playing man to man on him, and I just put him on the back shoulder, and he made a good catch and made some, uh, made some yards after the catch. With the outcome the way it was, it's maybe tough to say, but it, how important was the first score momentum wise? Oh, it, was, it was really important. Like I said those first two drives, getting points, uh, just so we can do it. Like I said last uh, last week, not scoring at all. So getting there, those first two drives, get you some touchdowns, get the momentum going. It was good and important to the game. The game's just now over. I mean, how do you go into next week? Because you've proven yourself out there. Tyler's hoping to get back. I mean, does it kind of start all over for you? Uh, definitely. I mean, it's, it's an SEC game now. Preseason, uh, in a way, is over. So now it's time to get in there and uh, try to get a uh, SEC road win. What about that push up front? You guys were constantly in the backfield, knocking balls down. And it really was the defensive line that's the time, not just linebackers. What did you guys do so well today? Um, Coach Turner, a very good coach, and he um, teaches us teaches us some things to um, penetrate during the game, and we just executed. You know, Chris, they, they were kind of making fun of you in camp, but saying you were a three technique and you were bringing uh, up that much. How do you feel about uh, playing D tackle? Oh, uh, I'm not a D tackle. I'm a D end. Just playing D tackle. For the moment. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully, with my hands crossed, it's going to change. Definition of temporary is what you're telling me? <clears throat> I'm not going to say temporary, okay. but, you know, hopefully it changes. Okay. So what will cause it to change? You need to lose um, a few pounds or what? Right now, I'm 290. Well, they, I guess they want me 270. <laughs> That's kind of hard for a big guy like me. So, you know, I'm going to work <laughs> on some things and we're going to try to work something out. Okay. In high school, you can completely dominate. You played two games now in college, so what's the difference? You're, you're playing well, but you're not. 
you know, you're not in the backfield all the time. So what's the difference? Um, three technique, I'm not really used to playing. I'm still in the feel of it. And the more games I play, the better I'm going to get. You know? So I'm really just getting the feel of it. But I'm better than myself every game. I find my mistakes and try to make that very critical in film watching and try to see where I messed up at and see where I can better myself. You may have answered this already, but what was it like when you found out you'd be making your first story? Um, Y'all know what? It was kind of surprising because we was at the hotel and Coach Turner was like, um, well, it's official. You're starting today. And you know how you want to feel so cool about it, but you don't want to, in the inside, you just <laughs> jumping up and down, so I had to play it cool. Up. Yes, sir, Coach. Let's go. <laughs> so it was exciting, man. How would you grade yourself in that first first game you started? Um, I did pretty well. I had um, a couple of mistakes. I stayed up. I stand up. You know, uh, on a couple of play, I got too high. Um, but it's stuff that can be fixable. You know, watch film, um, study what I did wrong, and try to better it in this game. What's that process like to come into fall camp? defensive end and then about halfway through throw you throw you down there in the middle. Oh the process is pretty pretty hard. You know, I'm still telling Coach Mullen <laughs> the D N is still in me, you know. <laughs> now I'm not a fully D tackle. I'm partial D tackle and fully in. So we trying to balance that out, you know. Hopefully I get moved back to D N. Hopefully with my fingers crossed. Nice to get there and get a couple of touchdowns. Right well you know my old line they created some big holes so I just hit them hard like like the were you told you were going to play this game? Well, I was told Tuesday, but I was. But it's still, you know, it's a game time decision, you know. You just prepare all week like you were going to play. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just love you. Got to do it. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. How much did you talk to the other running backs to kind of get a feel of what to expect? Well, well we've been talking about it since maybe uh, the summer. So I'm doing some workout. They've been telling me about it. I was going to be hard and it's, and it's faster. Just take us to that first carry. I mean, you've done it a million times, but it's the first time in college. You know, that first carry, high school, even just um, little league, you're going to be nervous. So mm-hmm. I, was, I was a little shaky, but I got it, I got it out the way, so it's all right. And then you get to score a touchdown the next one. <laughs> well, I, um, that touchdown, it, um, it um, felt good getting it as a freshman, you know. Mm-hmm. Did you know that you were going to carry the ball four straight times, I think it was, to start your career? <laughs> well, I didn't know if I was going to play uh, one snap or however many I played. So I just I try to get as many yards as, as I can on every care. What's going through your mind on third and then fourth down? You're like, up, oh, give it to him again, up, oh, give it to him again. Well, well I hope they do it, but he knows that the cold mother will play where I'm running. But if I get it, I'm, I'm going to try my best to get the first down. What's going through your mind? When, I mean, there's still a, there was still a debate as to mm-hmm. do you redshirt or do you not? Are we going to let him play? You know, what's going through your mind? when you're trying to prepare? Well, I just try to show them that I'm ready, you know, but it's all a little too damn if they're going to really show me or play. Coach said the only criticism you'd have is you still like to run over people a little too much when maybe you could dodge some people. Well, yeah, I, I um, kind of got bad about um, running over my own blockers, but I'm trying to <laughs> trying to get back to the board. Well, you ran over some other two guys too today. <laughs> yes, sir. I, I, t- I told him sorry, you know. <laughs> how, much, how much of that is your style and how much are you trying to, you know, kind of learn how to adapt your style to a college game? Because you can't run over everybody. Yeah. Well, I, try to, I try to pick and choose who, who's to run over and who's to avoid, you know. But for myself, I feel like I run over everybody. So, yeah, you just got to try them. Try them see. It's going to be challenging to go into this next week now with Perkins hopefully getting back and, you know, still being just one of five again. I mean, I challenge him. I, um, I actually like playing with Perk. I, mm-hmm. I wish he would have played this game. Jack played today. Uh, he played really good. You know, uh, I knew he was going to play good because they just that. But, you know, he, he came out and did what he's supposed to do. The offense kind of got you and, you and others involved with yeah. some quick you know, end around stuff in the running game. Talk about being able to make their, stretch their defense with plays like that. I mean, you know, I think that, you know, that what kind of offense we have, we have a lot of skill, good players. And, you know, getting the ball in our hand up the field, I think we can do something with it. What does this do for y'all's confidence on offense? Well, give us confidence. I mean, just, you know, the practice. You know, have a good practice and a good week of practice then come in and perform. But, you know, it started at practice. How much would you say with so many starters and veterans out coming in, and, you know, upperclassmen that were playing today, how much did y'all kind of take it on yourselves to help the other I mean, you know, uh, just like practice, you know, we, we, uh, we knew everything we uh, worked on. In practice, we're going to do out here. So, you know, everybody knew their assignment. And, you know, Coach G made sure everybody knew their assignment because we keep going and open, repping and repping it. So, you know, we just yeah, came in just ready to perform. 
when you have 11 other guys, including yourself, catch a ball? I mean, as a wide receiver, what what, what kind of bring, what kind of feeling do you have about that? I mean, I have a good feeling because I already know how we have a good uh, wide receiver group, and uh, found that out in camp. So you know, I'm just you know, it's us. Uh, the second game, we got a lot of more games to perform. You know, just show up. You've watched Ashton in practice. Have you seen him run over guys like that in practice games yeah. like he did today? I always compare him to Marshall and Lynch because that's what type of run he is. Uh, you know, if you don't get out of his way, he's going to make you move. So, <laughs> you know, and he, that's a good thing about him that he, you know, he runs physical and he going he gonna to get the tough yards. What did you see different from Dak this week and in today being the starter instead of a guy coming off in the middle of the game? To be honest, I, I really ain't seen nothing different because, you know, Dak come in for prayer every day, every week, and, you know, just the same deck, but he know he was, he was starting this game, so you know he was excited, you know. But uh, I ain't seen nothing different. Jamie, what did you think about Brandon Holloway in his first game? He's kind of the guy's kind of similar skill set to you. Yeah. But what did you think he did well? And you know the coaches always talk about getting him ball in his hands. Yeah, he did. He did real good. You know, he had a couple. Uh, he had a good return for one. Then he had a couple good runs on a uh, little stretch. And you know, he I already know Holloway. You know, you get him over field with his speed. You know, too many guys ain't gonna catch him. So, you give him grief for not getting to the end zone on the kickoff. I mean, you know, I, I gave myself grief too. You know, I ain't get in. Then I was like, I bet you feel like I feel. You know, when I ain't get in. But then again, yeah, he was. You know, he wasn't upset, but you know, he was kind of disappointed that he ain't get in. But at the end of the day, but just watch film. You know, see work. Get. See what we gotta do better. Guys lead in different ways. Is there anything different in the huddle when Dak's leading you guys in there? Well, that that you, I, I I can't say it's something different. You know, Dak and Tyler two different quarterbacks, two, uh, totally different personality. But uh, but I'm used to I'm used to both of them. So, but that you know he's just a pretty leader on and off the field. So you know he just always do his job to the best of his ability. Yeah, that's got involved in twelve guys total caught passes today. That's the mix. Um, the media. You know what I'm saying we can um, run routes like man to man. He won good, so we just try to prove that point. Yeah, right to right right you can play. You know, a lot of guys are talking about you right now, saying, "Hey, you're just a freshman. We don't expect you to know the offense right now. You're just catching everything." Is that just kind of your plan of attack right now? Is just catch everything and run the offense later? <laughs> no, basically, I, I learned it. You know, Coach G really pushed me to the limit. Like that's the main thing why I just be in the right place at the right time to catch the ball. Did you change it? Uh, I don't see the receivers kind of take it upon themselves. It's just like practice, you know. The practice, you know, you get the ball from everybody, every quarterback out there. Like, it's just like practice. Did you come in expecting to play when you arrived in college? Um, not, not for real, but I know my hard work and determination. You know, I'll be able to do something. Was there a moment in camp where you were kind of like, wait a minute, I might actually get involved here? Actually, you know, be prepared to play right away. Yeah, it was like when I first came in, I seen it was slapping the wide receivers. I knew I had to be the one who step up. You know, we lost six of them last year, so I knew I was going to be like a big part. Dad group. got a really good first half. What's the thing about Damien and his half throwing out there? Damien's good. Like I said, it's just like practice. All the quarterbacks just commu they communicate with us. Like I definitely yeah. just try to communicate, execute on everything we do. Was today just a fun day? Especially for the offense. Yeah, it was. You know, come bouncing back from last week, and we have a good, tough game. But yeah. Did you guys good. feel? I don't know the fans and the coaching staff. They, they kind of were in the dumps about how the offense played. Did you guys in that locker room feel that way as well? I mean, did you guys want to come out? And, I mean, you guys came out and scored the first possession. So there was a statement made today. Yeah, we, that's what we try to do today. Make a statement. You know, execute on everything. Last week we didn't do too much on the offense side of the ball. We just try to just do everything. I coach it a bit. When you have as many, I apologize, this is already asked, but as many wide receivers or pass catchers catch the ball, what does that mean to an offense when you have 12 guys catch the ball? It means a lot. I mean, you just try to do everything. Coach tells us to do. You know, us catching the ball, do what we're supposed to do. You got to catch the ball.